And the most important aspect according to what I have observed is going to be education. Because people need to know what they can do in when 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 if they are not in a maybe basically if they're not part of Pearl Protectors, they need to know what they can be doing. Yeah. How have you addressed this? How has the youth addressed this? Are the youth aware of what to do with this? Which is a question that many people would have. Now, definitely, I think education is uh, a priority. When it comes to this, the awareness, people need to know uh, uh, what it is as it is. Uh, so uh, we, from our organization, we've been doing, we've been uh, having the awareness uh, side of this. We, when we, when the COVID uh, situation uh, before it, we were going to schools and we were trying to get the the, the students to be aware of the problems that our oceans are facing. Uh, even our, during the COVID, we uh, have done a lot of awareness sessions online. Uh, trying to, these are not just a session where we just do it and end it. We we make sure that there's a follow up. We make sure that there's impact. Uh, we hear so many good stories when you do it properly. A lot of these students uh, take that message out. They they carry that message out to other um, other students and the the society. That becomes the inspiration. Um, for example, uh, we had a story when we went to a school and we we made sure that uh, you know the students are aware of as to why to reduce single-use plastic. And we just didn't we just we didn't just tell uh, to stop it. We gave them reasons. A month later, we get so many calls saying, my ch child came back home and our whole, whole family is now uh, single-use plastic free. So they, that child has been able to convince their parents and their family to why, why it's important to reduce single-use plastic. And so this is just one story. And it's important that, uh, that education uh, has to be done in a way that, that is, there has to be proper follow-up. There has mm -hmm. to be uh, the. Uh, you need to make sure that that student or whoever um, listens to us uh, knows how to follow up on these things, and they follow through uh, with their initiatives. Uh, the other thing is now you spoke about volunteerism. It is also uh, a platform for education itself. Now, when you say uh, uh, volunteerism. For a lot of people, it means like, okay, just going to the beach and just cleaning the beach. Not at all. We have mobilized volunteers on doing research. We have mobilized uh, volunteers on the expert levels. So if, if, a, if a person is skilled and or wants to be skilled in a certain area, maybe photography, maybe uh, um, uh, article writing, mm -hmm. uh, we have given that opportunity. We have given that resource. We have uh, mobilized experts who can provide that um, guidance to that person who then can practically do something and that could really spark that uh, inspiration within themselves. And we have seen so many volunteers excelling themselves in a short span of period through that you know, education that is given practically.